Right, welcome to Simon Smoke Shack everyone, this is the first video, so bear with us, it's probably going to be terrible. This is going to be a lamb donna kebab. So, this is the ingredients, we've got three large cloves of garlic, if you've got smaller ones then probably five will be what you need for that. Um, we've got six tablespoons of pinhead rusk, you can get this from a sausage making supply company. We have... 1.5 kilos of lamb mince, freshly minced. Here we have one teaspoon of onion granules, one and a half teaspoons of all purpose seasoning, most supermarkets sell this, one and a half teaspoons of black pepper, one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of ground coriander. 3 teaspoons of salt, sounds a lot but it's not, trust me you need to put it in there otherwise it won't taste very good. And we got 1.5 teaspoons of smoked Spanish sweet paprika. Alright so the first thing to do is chop up your, uh, your garlic into little chunks. Right, so now you've got your minced lamb in there with your garlic cloves. Gonna add the rusk, sprinkle that over the top, like so. All your dry ingredients go in. Give a little shake about. And now it's time to get in. Give it a good old squidge up. You really want to try and work this mince for a minute or two. You want it to actually go into a sticky consistency. That's what's going to stop it tasting like a like a burger and it's actually going to hold it all together at the end and you end up with a nice texture when you slice it once it's been cooked on the Kamado. So give that a mix up for a couple of minutes. Right, so this has been worked for about three minutes. It's now starting to get sticky on your hands. When it gets to that sticky stage, that's what you're looking for. If it doesn't go sticky, you're not going to end up with a nice kebab. So, now you want to shape it. Give it a nice press up. Get into a ball shape if you can. Make sure there's no gaps in it. Keep them nice and tight. Like so. Form that again when it's ready to go onto the uh, onto the vertical spike. All that's left to do with that now, wrap it in a bit of cling film, pop it in the freezer for an hour or two so it firms up nicely, and then we'll come back in a minute. Right, this is the Donna Kebab now. It's been part frozen for two hours. It's on a spike. You can buy these on uh, eBay. They're quite handy little things to have. The Kamado has been set up to 170 degrees centigrade with a smoke roller for indirect. We've got a chunk of oak in there and a chunk of cherry. And we've set up an accessory rack and a drip pan. So that's going to go into there. We'll put a probing into the centre of it. Down the bottom a little bit, like so. And we'll let that run until it hits about 70 degrees centigrade. We'll double check that with a the thermal pen once we're getting close. See you in a bit. All right, temperature probe is showing 74 now on this. That's been about an hour and a quarter at 170 degrees. Just double check that with the thermal pen. Yep, we're up to temp on that. Take her out. 
looking good. Give it a quick slice and have a look. Nice and crispy on the outside, as you want. I would say it's like a nice smoke. That's a successful kebab. Mm. And it tastes delicious too. This is the final shot. Kebab is uh, now plated up on the board. It's super tasty. A little drizzle of chili sauce just to finish it off to give it the authentic takeaway. Um, if you can hit subscribe and like, and I'll be doing some more great videos um, showing some cooking on the Kamado. Thanks for watching.